Hey everyone, it's me Tins. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be planning in my updated dot grid daily insert. So I have had dot grid in my I have dot grid um, regular grid um, in my shop for a long time, and basically I just never really did much with it. I've always been more of a grid, um, like the square grid. Like I don't know. Hopefully it's not washing it out, but I've always been more uh, into the square grid. But I decided that I would do get into dot grid because I actually like the way dot grid looks versus the square grid. So I figured I want to create a daily insert that I will have a little bit more versatility with. Um, I love the daily inserts that I have been using. The only thing is, is that it's kind of, um, I'm kind of limited um, as far as what I can do. So I just want to bring a little bit more creativity into the picture. These are really great. This has a list um, on the right hand side, it has a kind of an air conjuring size full box. Uh, the width is pretty much half the page. I mean, the length is half the page. Then it has a square grid at the bottom. So I absolutely love this insert, actually. I've been using it for a while, but as far as decorating it, I felt a little limited. So because when I do my weekly planning, I always have, when, because I typically use the, uh, the deluxe kit. I always have a lot of leftovers that I just never really get around to using and I do daily planning and I want to decorate my, my daily plans. So yeah, um, I have always have a lot of full boxes left. I typically have some labels left over at the bottom of the full boxes. I always have the full box checklist left because I use a lot more the ombre heart checklist in the spread, but again, I can even incorporate those. I always have plenty of checklists and icons left. So to me, these particular leftovers are going to be great for um, are going to be great for uh, daily planning so I'm excited to jump in this is, will be the first time you actually see me kind of planning things out more live I'm actually gonna fill in hopefully if it doesn't get too long I'm actually gonna fill in my plans I do have I have not written down for today but I do have my plans for I'm filming it's on Wednesday uh, May the 8th and I do have plans written down for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I did not fill in plans for today, which I'll just do in the new inserts. So what I will do is I will go ahead and jump in to planning. I'm going to, so basically, oh, let me talk a little bit more about the inserts. So let me take them out. And they just say daily.grid. This is, in the shop, this is going to be listed by the month. Um, well, there's going to be an undated version, actually, and then there'll be a dated monthly version. Um, I don't know why I'm taking out so many. Oh, yeah, well, I guess I need, yep, I actually do need all of these. And like I always say, I always plan um, daily uh, Sunday through Saturday, whereas I plan weekly um, Monday through well, I plan daily Sunday through Saturday and then weekly Monday through Sunday, if that makes sense. So the daily insert has a cover. It has the, uh, actually a front and back. So let me actually pull my planner back over here just to show y'all. Um, it's just the back. The back has my branding on it. Of course, you can always use that, you know, for whatever your heart desires to use it for. But anyway, I'll go ahead and jump in so it has the same weekly overview layout as the previous daily insert um, it has this kind of air and conjuring with long sidebar and it has your each day of the week um, dated and then it is accented by these little uh, bows at the top it has the date and it has a little this week text so to me I really like this page for a weekly overview so I definitely want to keep that as part of the um, the insert system so here is basically the insert it's basically just kind of an ongoing you start on Sunday it has just the plain dot grid over the whole page it does have a little accent of a little bow right there it has a really pretty script font and the date and yes yeah, so you have Sunday Monday you know, so on and so forth. And then on the back of Saturday, we just start the new week. So that is that. So we will go ahead and jump in. So on Sunday, and I have all my stickers spread out here. And yeah, I'm super excited to jump in because that means that I can finally get better use out of these, um, out of these full boxes. 
Alrighty, so on Sunday, I'm going to be referencing these particular inserts because these are the ones that uh, I have been using up until this point. So I'll zoom in just a tad, make sure that we're good and focused in here. And we'll go ahead and start. Alrighty, so I will... And I like this font a lot, so I really don't feel the need to put, um, and the thing is I can either use the checklist box or I can use these, these checklists, which I rarely ever use. So I'm really excited to, be, to get a chance to, to use those as well. So on Sunday, I had faith and worship time in the morning. So I definitely note that first. And I'm really playing this on the fly. I really don't have, um, like a system for this yet. So, you know, we're just gonna all be doing this together, so to say. So I'm gonna put a piece of washi at the top, just to kind of add, just to go ahead and start kind of the decorative element of the planning. And oh, I didn't even realize these lines are about 1.25. So that would definitely work. So I always do my faith and worship on Sundays. That's one of the um, main things that are, is super important to me just to take that time out and, you know, get that. Now, what I'll do is I'll use this little heart icon. I will use, I like to use a little flag. And a lot of times I like to layer it with a teardrop. So I think I'll layer it with this. And I did not yet again bring my tweezers in here, but I think I'll be okay. So I put my flag down. Cause I always like to kind of denote that with a little flag. And then I will just layer. And I've already used a little like Bible icon. So I'll just use this little teardrop one. Oh, I kind of hate. Um, I don't want to cover up the flag because it has like the Eiffel Tower on it. But anyway, I'll just put it over here. And again, I really like the fact that I can be super versatile with with the um my kids are being super obnoxious so you'll have to excuse them they you know kids they get a little spiteful when you're not giving them attention so that's kind of what they're doing right now they know i'm busy trying to do something even though i got them sitting down eating dinner but they just want to you know they're going to be kids and they want attention and they really want to be in my videos but um you know Maybe I'll start vlogging one day. And alrighty. So, and like I said, I'm going to keep this. These are the inserts that I feel I'm going to be the most creative with. So I'm pretty excited. I'll zoom out a little bit more. And okay. So these are the inserts that I feel I'm going to be the most creative in. And they're actually going to push me to be. Um, creative so you know that's new for sure for me um, so I have my faith and worship I have my little to-do list here and then it was bath night so I will get a little label box to denote that and I think I'll use this one over here and I will get another piece of washi that I'll use so I'll do this down here. And, you know, I'm very used to structure. So while I do enjoy, um, you know, getting creative with these inserts, it is a little bit out of my element because I'm used to just the structured boxes and, you know, putting things down, very structured. So, you know, this is a little new to me, but I, I like it. And I think it's going to, you know, really be helpful um, and make it make planning each day a little bit more fun and that way I can get a lot more use out of my stickers. So I'm just going to layer that and I guess I'll go ahead and fill in as I go, which is so weird for me actually like right on camera. So faith, I got TV on in the background so hopefully it's not too loud. So faith and worship and then bath night.
And then, so for that day, I edited and uploaded. And that was the 422 to 428 plan with me. And then I had some bills due. So there was USAA, Amex, and Macy's. And I think that I could have done a, a separate box for these. And then that was pretty much it for like my to-do list for that day. So what I'll do for film, edit, and upload, I could use this little sticker. I actually did have another place where I film, edit, and upload it. But again, I'm just getting super creative with these inserts. And I think what I'll probably do is do maybe some type of gratitude or something like that. Um... Or something in the rest of the space. I'll just have to kind of see. So like I said, this is really exciting. It's really exciting and new to me. And I'm just looking at some of the script text and seeing if there's anything on them that I want to use. And I think I'm going to use one of these uh, flags. Just to add a little bit more decorative element to the page. And I, if I can actually be in the frame, like that would be smart, right? Alrighty, so that's kind of the first page. I'm, I feel like as I get, you know, a little bit more familiar with this method, I'll get better. So that's Sunday. That's pretty much all I had going on for Sunday. Oh, I did have some TV shows. So I will definitely put those down. And what I'll do with those is let me run and get my scissors because I'm going to use one of these flags, but I'm going to cut them down. Alrighty, so I am back. I have my little slice tool here, and then I have my little scissors. So I'll be using those two throughout the plan with me. And so for TV, and I'm surprised I don't have a TV icon on here. That's really weird that I don't have one. I thought I did, but maybe I don't. Pretty sure I had a TV icon somewhere. Let me check the sampler. Nope, I guess not. Oh well. So anyway, I'm just gonna cut this down because that night I watched three shows. It was Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta, Portia's Baby Special. It was Real Housewives of Potomac, which was the premiere, and then it was um, sorry, then it was a uh, Charmed, which when I heard they were rebooting charm i was not excited but i said you know what i i'm gonna check it out and i did and it's really cute it's a really cute show um it kind of gives me vibes of like it would super super appeal to me if i was like still in college i know for sure if i was still like in that really young um phase of my life but um you know, I, I, I still kind of like all those shows. It reminds me of when I was younger, when I was watching like Kids W, not Kids WB, but I was watching like, um, like when Buffy and all those shows used to come on. It reminds me of like that time um, in my life. So, and I don't know, maybe I'm a little immature uh, when it comes to shows. Like I'll, I'll watch shows, even if like they're not in my specific like age group or whatever. I don't know. I was going to use this little bow. I wanted to put something at the top there. But let's see, maybe I'll do another little arrow. I mean, arrow, wow, another little flag. I thought that's like two flags. <laughs> so, and again, I may be getting too creative with these, who knows? Anyway, so we'll just fill it. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and write in and I'll see how, how much of my handwriting can actually fit in here. So yeah, we've been, you know, so happy that Potomac is on because Atlanta went off. So, you know, of course, it's, we're getting into summertime, so there's not really like that much on TV right now. So that's always nice. So anyhow, that is Sunday. Again, you know, we'll get there as far as, you know, there being more going on. Okay, so jumping into Monday. We had a lot more going on on Monday. So let me find my, I'll do like a little piece of glitter, wash it at the top. And I didn't even realize these lines were just about the size of 
washi, which is actually kind of nice. I did not do that on purpose, but hey, some some of the things we do in life aren't intentional, but they make sense. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna put this full box checklist down. And I was like, I never use these pads like the plan with me was like, I need to find something, something to do with those. So Monday we had a grocery run in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I felt like I want to fill in like all the, all the groceries I went to. So I went to Kroger and this is a pilot friction pen that I'm using. Um, it is so awesome. It is like one of the best pens. It's erasable, but it's gel, so you get the best of both worlds. Alrighty, so that's for our grocery run. And then, let's see, I filmed uh, the 429 plan with me, and I added and uploaded that. So I will use a little half box for that. And I'll use a piece of washi from one of my pages here. So usually in the like in these three quarter boxes I use, or half boxes, you'll see me put like one of the major events for that day. So I didn't put that super straight. I said I've been trying to get a lot more videos up on the channel because the if I do it every day, then I'm a lot more consistent. Then if I start skipping days, it'll be, it'll be over with. Like my planner will, my channel will go dormant again and it'll be another like 10 years before I come back on it. So we don't want that because my YouTube channel is super old, um, you know, but I had left it dormant a whole while and really hadn't planned on really doing much with it. But yeah, the planning community kind of brought that back out. And yeah, I'm super happy that I'm back to, you know, uh, utilizing my YouTube channel. And then I did some promo and marketing. So, which was probably like an IG post, I'm pretty sure. And so I will put, I, don't, I have another camera sticker, so. What I'll do is I'll do, I feel like I want to save this bow for another time. So let's see. I have these flags too over here. So I'm probably going to use one of these. And I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to be super creative with these inserts. So let's see. And then we'll do a little light pink heart. And I did forget tweezers. Okay, so then this was promo and marketing. And I'm pretty sure it was an IG post. Alrighty, and then there was a new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer that came out that day, so I definitely wanna mark that. So let's find, I use kind of this light yeah, I'll use kind of this light pink. And then I'll do another little piece of like glitter washi. I hope I'm not like taking forever doing these. I'm gonna have to look back and see just how just how long or how much these, you know, these take because I don't wanna like, you know, I'm gonna put this up here actually. And uh, I don't wanna use a light piece of washi with a light box. So and I like to keep, oh, that's, that's like not, not too much better, is it? Huh? Alrighty. And then let's see, I don't really have an icon that will work for like the trailer or whatever. So YouTube in spa day. Um, let's see. I should be able to find some type of icon that would denote. I'll just use this little asterisk. That's pretty cute. Uh -oh, oops, looks like I had cut through too much on that. I don't know what happened. There. 
All right. Alrighty, sorry about that. So we'll just use this little. I should. I was like, I always forget something. Always. All right. So kind of that stick was a little jacked up. So it was a new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, which I'm super excited about because after Endgame, I just you know can't get enough of, you know, can't get enough of, of Marvel Cinematic Universe. But you know. And this will also make it really fun when I go back in to, like, that's awesome handwriting. And then so for TV shows that uh, that evening, it was pretty much like 911 and The Fix, which unfortunately I didn't really pay a lot of attention to. But I kind of saw a little bit of it here and there. But I really want to find out, like, who murdered the girl on that show. So I want to continue to watch it. Because it's, you know, I love, like I mentioned before in previous videos, I love crime dramas. So it was 911 and The Fix. Alrighty. And then so that is Monday. So we'll go ahead and put so Sunday and then Monday. So that's what we got going on for there. And so for Tuesday, that was yesterday. Let's see, we had a lot going on. It was Teacher Appreciation Day, so we definitely wanna highlight that first. And let me find a little, I definitely use this three quarters. I'm gonna say this three quarters box for her, like my, probably my mom's birthday, because her birthday's tomorrow. So I may use actually, I may use this solid box right here to no Teacher Appreciation Day. And, I will use one of these pieces of washi. My daughter went in the restroom and now I'm like, okay, like, where'd she go? So I'm gonna put this over here actually. Alrighty, so we'll do teacher appreciation. Oh, got stuff on my hands. Let's see. Alrighty, so for Teacher Appreciation Day, I'm gonna stick this kind of three quarters box down. And then we sent gifts. Oh, on Monday, as she went to Bath and, I don't know why I didn't have that written down on my other sheet. Oh, I did do Bath and Body Works Teacher Appreciation Day gifts. So I need to note that with a, with a little half box. So I was like, we definitely can't forget that. Went to a trip to Bath and Body Works. So I could put it here. No, I'll just put it here. And I feel like I kind of want to offset it a little bit. Let's see. We'll kind of do it like here because I don't want things to be so perfect in here. Because um, that'll just like defeat the whole purpose of, of you know, planning like this. So it was, so I use this little icon for like shopping. And let me see, I'll use it over here. And that will denote the trip to Bath and Body Works for the teacher appreciation gifts. And I ended up picking myself up some body cream and I she was able to grab my mom, her Mother's Day slash birthday, um, birthday. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot to put down the Met Gala, which was on Monday, so I'll just use a little fancy label for that. Well, I can also put, well, I didn't really watch it though. I just kind of like stayed abreast of like, you know, the commentary and what was going on. So we'll just put that right down here at the bottom. I had to go get my daughter situated in the bathroom and I went to wash my hands and put lotion on because I don't want to be all ashy up here in the video. Let me see, do I have like a little fashion icon or anything that would denote like, I don't know, I may just use like one of these little hearts. I don't think I have everything that's like fashion oriented. I could use a bow or maybe we'll do that. We'll use a bow 
And we'll just use one of these off of the sampler because why not? I don't know what is going on with the way the sampler is cut. Okay, so for the Met Gala, we'll just put this right here. And of course, like my hands are so like, I just put lotion on, so it's gonna be a little, a little crappy handwriting. Okay, so Met Gala. All right, so that is Monday. So we'll get back over to Tuesday for Teacher Appreciation Day. And then I'll do my checklist because I did do um, kind of a lot even on Tuesday. So I'll get my piece of washi. And also for Teacher Appreciation Day, I think I'll use one of these little flags over here. I think I'll use a light color one. So, and I'll put that right here in the little hat box to denote Teacher Appreciation Day. And we'll do a little heart in the center of that because we left our teachers. So, yeah. So, I think that's really cute. And then I will move into my glitter header for my to-do list for that day because basically every day we'll always have a to-do list. And we'll use this little shopping one because that's pretty cute. I think I did some errand running in the morning after I dropped my son off from school. And so, yeah, and I had to get my son's birth certificate, so we'll definitely mark that with the box. I feel I always feel weird using like pink boxes for my son. It's not that there's anything wrong because I mean you know, I think men look great in pink. Um but I always feel like, you know, I can use a color that's a little bit more suiting for him at least, because he seems like a gray, green kind of dude. <laughs> Even though he's little. So let's see, I could use, I think I use all the washi on this page. I have this little box right here, I guess I can use. So I'll put this smack dab in the middle because I had to go pick his birth certificate from the by the records. Even though he is 18 months old, I had not picked up his birth certificate. Whenever like you register here, um, I had my son at one of the hospitals in the metro area. You register, you put in the paperwork and then Basically, you, it's on you to go and pick up, like, the birth certificate and all that jazz. So, and I just, like, haven't gotten around to doing it because I really hadn't needed it. Like, I have a social security card, so um, I just hadn't really needed it. So, anyway, so I had to print out some other paperwork, so I'll just put that on my to-do list. I, I was figuring out my camera settings, and I finally got all that squared away, so I was really happy about that so i think that that definitely deserves um like a half box because i was so frustrated trying to figure out camera settings and you know i have a pretty you know a pretty legit camera and i was like i know good and well this is user error this is totally user error it's not the camera it's me and i knew it was and it was me so I'll put this here to denote that. And I've already used my little camera icon, but I feel like I have an, an asterisk icon somewhere, but I think I usually switch up. Um, it's a good thing I do two payday stickers. So it was payday for Etsy, at least. Then with my other shop, I just get like PayPal deposited. So that's payday. And then we have, alrighty, so I don't know where I got cut off because my camera cut off and I didn't even know. But it's going to put this little decorative flag. And I guess since I didn't use the washi flag, I can just use these flags for maybe each page of the, of the plan or the plan as I go or plan by the day. Because, yeah, I always forget to use these flags in my... Um, so this will make good good use of them. So not just always like I'll put one on a page somewhere on it. I wanted to should have saved one to put this at the top. But yeah, but anyway, so back to this page. Okay, so we did I so I designed these and so I film film. I don't know. Well I'll probably film it and upload. So 
edit, upload, and then design new daily dot grid inserts. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will do a an icon next to that. I kind of want to use this bow, but I'll hold it off. So I'll use this little teardrop to denote that. And then for film editing and uploading, I don't really have another icon like for that. So what I'll do is I'll probably just use a little bow off of the sampler. Or you know what? I actually have these little asterisk thingies, and I can put one of those next to it and then check it off. So I can put that here. And this would be a good time to have tweezers, like a real good time to have tweezers. And okay, so that is that. And then so for TV for tonight, it's just Empire and Star and Whiskey Cavalier if it is on. So I just cut this down by three again. And these little scissors are from Amazon. Um, they're like little sewing embroidery scissors. I think they're just so cute. Um, I'll link them in the uh, description bar below if you're interested in them. A lot of planner girls have them. So if you've ever seen them, I mean, there are people who sell them, who um, they sell them, like I guess, you know, other shops sell them but they're really pricey I am I can get them for like dirt cheap so <laughs> I think a lot of the places I've seen them um like on Instagram and Etsy they sell them for like 30 bucks so yeah um so anyway so there's Empire Star and Whiskey Cavalier again I love like you know I like cop shows and military shows and crime shows so yeah so that is Wednesday I don't really think I have too much else going on today pretty much spent a large part of the day designing the new inserts I'm filming this now I did all my um it was tr a trash day today and yeah I think that's pretty much it I really haven't done a whole lot more and then I do plan on let's see so let me see, I had a grocery run on, that was a bank run on Monday and I do not have another little dollar sign, but I do have a little credit card sign. So I think, I think that'll work, right? That'll work for a bank run. All right. So yeah. Um, hmm. Can't really think of anything else. I don't think of anything else so I think that's it for Tuesday and Wednesday so far so I will put I'm trying to keep up with and I keep like I keep picking up the insert putting it back down alrighty so moving into Thursday so tomorrow is my mother's birthday so how exciting is that so I've been saving this little bow for her birthday and I'm gonna use I want to use one of these like larger. Um, well, first, I'm going to use this really pretty floral with a flag over here. I think it's just cute. And then we will use for her birthday, we're definitely going to use a, a three quarters box. So we got a mark. And I'm going to use this one with the shoes because she loves shoes. Like, it's nobody's business. Like, that woman has more shoes than anybody I know. I like shoes, too. But I think I like clothes better. Clothes and, like, cameras and computers and stuff like that. Food. Like, where she, like, I like to go out to eat and stuff like that. And I like to, you know, I like to drink my sweet tea and my lemonade. She is not a fan of any of that at all. She is all about, um, she likes her sweets, but she likes to, um, 
she likes to eat like food food and she likes to buy she likes to shop a whole lot she really enjoys shopping and then I'm just going to use this little birth this little cake icon and we'll layer that for her day and then I was going to use this somewhere but I think I'm going to hold off on it because that would have been like too much going on yeah I don't like block out like me putting down that it's her birthday I'll use this little flag somewhere else and let's see so I'll put mom's birthday down Okay, and then I know that I'll definitely have some type of to-do list for tomorrow because usually I run errands like in the morning, so I definitely will want to put down my to-do list, and I'll do that kind of in the middle, middle-ish of the page here. So this is really, I'm really having, so far I'm having fun. I wanted to jump on and go ahead and plan in these inserts to see how to see how I how it felt, you know. So I definitely will go ahead and just put this icon down for. Well, we'll put this little label down, and then what other day do I have a grocery run? So let's see. Definitely wasn't Sunday. So Monday we'll do. There was a. Put this little icon down for that day because I always do my heavier grocery runs earlier in the week, and then we'll do this little icon here for tomorrow all right and then tomorrow evening it'll just be i think hopefully it's station 19 i'm not sure if i think it should be gray station 19 and for the people if they're still on i don't know so and of course like she wants to do like a crab cake dinner so we'll definitely i'll definitely note that under her birthday and i'll use a little So I use a little fancy label for that. And I'm trying to decide what we want to do it here. Yeah, we'll do this. Oops. Eh. There we go. And then we'll use a little dinner icon. We'll use a little dinner icon. And I'm thinking of putting it, I'll put it in the middle. And we'll put it down here. There we go. So we'll do that for her crab cake dinner. That's what she says she wants to eat. And then, like I say, we have grays. And then we have um, station 19. And I need to get some more of these pins and then we have for the people. Alrighty. And then for the grocery run, I know for sure I'll probably go to Kroger. I may have to go back to Sam's tomorrow, but I'm just going to put down Kroger. And yeah, so and we'll leave tomorrow kind of open. And then for Friday, we'll have new releases that day. So I know I have another little fancy label somewhere. So that's the things that I'm able to use up a lot more of the stickers, which makes me really, really happy. It makes me feel like I'm not wasting, um, like I'm not wasting, you know, stickers or whatever. Or just like leaving stickers, you know. Because I love using the deluxe kit, but I... Don't always stay. Um, I don't always like use every single sticker in it, but that's the thing. It's like I made these kits so you can plan across planners in them, and I don't really plan in both Erin Condren and MIB Six Rings. So, but I am thinking about getting a new Erin Condren. I'm just really at planner peace with B Six Rings, so that's why. But it is her launch day, and I do have a. Um, referral link in the below bar you can save ten dollars so and i know that she's giving um she has some special like gift with purchase 
things going on. So this is a really good time to try. Um, it's a really good time to try her to try her uh, products out if you've been, you know, if you've been on the fence about using them. I actually really like the Erin Contra Life Planner. I'm just um, not always as consistent in it um, as I would like to be for using it. I, it. For me, it's a little, at times it's a little big. Um, so that's why I haven't, I think before I didn't like want to quote unquote mess it up. So for a long time, I didn't use it because of that. The whole reason you get a planner is to be efficient and to like help make your life like more organized. So it's really weird that like you wouldn't want to, you know, you wouldn't want to use it to like, it's like, you know, maximum, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know. But anyway, use your, if you got like stuff, use it folks, because like you can't take it with you. Something happens and enjoy it. Like enjoy life. And most likely Fridays is new releases and there'll be probably some promo, promo and marketing for that day. And I usually keep Fridays pretty light because I'm typically after um, new releases. I'm just kind of promoing. So we'll do... I have this light colored label for like promo and marketing. I think I want to use this larger label, this larger flag. I think that's really cute. Whoops. I can actually put it on here right. I, like, I'm destroying it. Sad. Like I have a lot of flags going on. <laughs> so new releases. You know, like struggle bus. Okay, so new releases. We got our little decorative flag over there, and then we do promo and marketing because that's part of running a business. Okay, and so Friday, I think that's pretty much like all I got really going on for Friday right now. Like I say, I'll have to, you know, try to pop back on. I feel like I want to use like a, one of these pieces of washi I have left over. I think I may go back and use a piece for Thursday for like, so let me measure out. I don't want it. I don't want to be super big. Let's see. Do I have, I have like a little, oh, here we go. Use my trusty, my trusty Meller. <laughs> and I'll just slice this and that way I can use, use it. Have walk, oh, my mom was coming through the garage. It scared me. Oops. Okay. So we'll just use this piece of washi. All right. Smack dab here in the middle. And I think that's super cute. And then so for Friday, maybe I can use this little leftover piece here. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this like ah, super creative. Jeez Louise, I'm just like tearing this up. Crazy town USA. Alrighty, so that is Friday. And then so for Saturday, I never really have too much going on on Saturdays either. Um, so let me see. I definitely not going to use a to-do to -do list on Sunday because most likely I'll probably do some laundry on Saturday and some different things like that. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll do a to-do list. And I'll make sure I use my little flag. Alrighty, and so, and then on the 11th, so let me see that. I don't have any online orders or anything like that going on, so I'll use my last little flag. And I'll be right back after I put this flag down. Alrighty, so I remember that I did a sticker paper order on Monday, so I'll put that there. And I don't really have like a little thing to denote that, so. Like I said, I'm using leftovers, so I don't always have a bunch of um, like icons and things like that left over. Let me find 
Where's my little sampler at? It's like trying to keep track of everything. I have that Old Town Road song stuck in my head. They, they played on the radio so much here in Atlanta because the guy is um the guy is from here, so they always um they play a song a lot. Alrighty, so I'm back. I had to run off and get some things squared away. So I remember that on Monday I had a stick paper order that came in, so I just put that down there with a little like teeny tiny little asterisk sticker, and then I just put a little chat box in it. And then my stick paper actually came today. So I just put down this kind of same like little box. And I was going to try to find a little icon or something. I was going to use like this flag, but it like didn't look right. So I'm going to have to nix that plan. And I may just do like a little bow or whatever. So I do that there. And we'll just put that in the stick paper cane. So I'll be working on printing. So most likely I'll be printing and cutting tonight. So I'm definitely going to be marking that with this little, let me see. I may mark that I have another set of boxes. Let's see, because I've already used a fancy so I, yeah, I'll use this little glitter, like this little glitter half box right here to mark printing and cutting. So any outstanding orders are going to be printed and hopefully cut tonight. I use another one of these little asterisk boxes just right up here in the corner. And again, for as many times I stopped and started this little plan with me, I could have went and got tweezers. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to put. So I went to, I did go to Office Depot, I already put that down. And sticker paper came. I feel like I want to put something like right here in the middle. <laughs> I have like this space right here. I'm trying to remember if there's anything that I did today that was like super important that I needed to mark outside of, oh, I did paint my nails on Monday too. So again, I'm always like, I always think of something else that I did. Um, I always think of something else that I did. So I'll just add this to, let's see, I have really like filled in everything. So I'll just put it down. I'll put it on here. Painted nails. We'll just do past tense because why not? And then do I have an I feel like I need if I don't have a little icon for for nails, I definitely need to add one to it. And I do not, which is fine. Okay, so that was definitely Monday because I had my nails painted. Yeah, and I need to actually paint them again. I may do that tonight. So I'm gonna put like a little fancy label right there in the middle or like a little a little skinny label right there. And here's to hoping that I actually do it because we never know. So we'll put this here for painting my nails because I don't like when my polish gets too when it gets too crap. Especially that the fact that I'm recording a video. And I'll put this little this little bow over here and I'll just put down paint nails okay and so yeah that kind of helps to fill in that space I feel like I want to put this little trash day sticker I know if I try to pick it up it's gonna mess up so that's okay but what I will do is use that little black flag that I had to add some dimension to trash day. There we go. So that kind of helps to fill in that space. Alrighty, so that is where we're at with, so that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, got Friday, we got Thursday, and then Saturday, that's pretty much like, what'll be going on if I just got a laundry day. Um, I have my little to-do list there. I'll probably just, it'll probably just be like an at-home 
you know. So I'll probably just use this little home sticker. And then we'll do probably like a family day because simply that's the day that I'm like just kind of hanging out with the kids. Everybody's at work that day. So yeah, so we'll just put down a little family day. That's like a little movie day for, for the kiddos and I. And you know, I'll do this little this little home sticker up here just to kind of know that I'm usually home all day on Saturdays and I don't really watch anything on Saturdays um so yeah like I just pretty much I just kind of let the kids have like a tv a tv day or we'll watch like whatever movies are on um yeah I'm looking at all the other icons I don't really have too much else going on for important do I have anything important? I mean, well, my son's birth certificate was super important because I did pick that up. So I may just run back through. So I may put this important sticker over. I'll layer that here. Picking up his birth certificate because that was a thing. And then, so for cleaning, I guess I'll do clean for Saturday. And then, you know, we'll put down clean and that'll be for like laundry or whatever. Um, and I'm probably going to do as well clean, 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 clean. And I'll probably want to do like cleaning, laundry, change sheets. So I may do, I may just leave this here and I'll probably fill it in. Um, kind of as the day goes on. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on for Saturday. And I will probably just take a piece of washi, just kind of add a little bit more of a decorative element to the page and just add a piece of washi because I really don't have really that much going on on Saturdays. I'm so busy ripping around during the week. So I just kind of stick this right here in the middle. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it. So again, um, I don't know why I pulled out Sunday, but for daily inserts, we do Sunday through Saturday. And then for weekly, we do Monday through um, Monday through Sunday. So that is it for this daily plan with me. I feel like it was kind of long, but you know, uh, that's okay because I'm typically more of a scribble down and go kind of person. But so what I'll try to do is I'll try to, you know, pre-plan with these as well as kind of write things down as I go. I'm going to try to figure that out. But yeah, either way I go, it's really fun to kind of plan in these. Or what I can do is try to pull out the camera on a daily basis, maybe every other day and go over go over the inserts. But yeah, I have a whole mess here, which I think is actually good. So I'm going to get my planner back out and put the inserts back in but I really do like that I'm able to you know keep track of my daily um you know my daily plans and it'd be cute um and I can be creative with it so yeah um I'm going to add these back to my planner and adding these in has put add a little bit more bolts to my planner but I don't mind it at all Alrighty, so that's pretty much it for the daily plan with me. I really like these inserts. I think it's really nice to be able to use the leftover stickers and make your daily plans decorative. Um, I have a lot of room that I can still actually handwrite things in. So even if it doesn't necessarily belong on the to-do list, I can still handwrite in other notes. I can actually journal. So I may start adding in like my mood. I'll definitely add in some gratitude. And so this is Sunday. And I let, and this is like the weekly overview, so I'll put like bigger events over here. So I'm going to try these inserts out for the week and see. I still have a lot of stickers left over. So, and I could have definitely used this little package, little thing for the sticker paper, but um, that's okay. Um, so, you know, here's Sunday. Here is Monday and Tuesday. And I thought my camera got moved a little bit. Here is Wednesday and Thursday. And this is like, there's a little out of my element kind of pre-planning like this and then this is Friday and Saturday so I'm really really happy um with these I'm so happy with them um I can't wait to get them up in the shop so I'll get them up in the shop if they're not linked below right now they'll definitely be linked below um 
will definitely be linked below soon. So you can always just check me out on IG for when they go live as well. But um, yeah, so that is the new daily dot grid. This is the dated version for May. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to work on June tonight and try to add this to the new releases for this week. And I already posted a new release video. Or what I may do is push these until next week for new releases. That way I'll have, give myself some time to do June and get that up in the shop. Because I think I'm adding a little too much to my plate. So I'll get June done. And I'll get the undated ones done as well. And then they'll be featured in the new release video for um, next week. So yeah, let me give, give myself some time to, to fill these out. And yeah, so again, I'm super happy with what they... It, you know, with, with the insert itself, it's super simple, but super cute. It's totally me. And yeah, I'm loving it. And I hope you like it too. So. But anyway, if you like my content and like this plan with me, please, please hit the thumbs up button. If you like my content, definitely hit the subscribe button because I love to have you I have a ton more ideas or videos in the queue. So I definitely hope you stick around for that. Again, everything's going to be linked down below. You can find these inserts in the shop probably starting next week. And, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.